Creo que fue la que vio anoche. Ok. And no, creo que es, está bien. This is awesome. Just woke up and left immediately from the other place and came straight here. Good morning. Didn't even record anything at the other uh, hotel. I woke up, took a cold shower, and uh, left. I was not interested in staying there another night. It was cool. Five dollars. That's what you get for five dollars. But this is what you get for ten dollars. Really, really nice here. Probably the biggest thing, the biggest difference I'm noticing right away, and the reason I really wanted to leave was the noise. Like that other hotel was just like right on the main street, and so didn't really sleep that well just because there was so much noise all night. But this is like peaceful. I'm probably just gonna go back to bed for a little while. Tú tienes que mirar que no haya, que no sea un peligro porque tú llegas tarde de la noche y te pueden atrapar. Así en el día lo ven muy movido. No, hará por ahí cinco minutos. El parque Uribe, si tú vas en un taxi, ahí te deja en toda la entrada del ESI, no tienes problema. Tú llegas a entre partes, hay un hotel y averiguar ese hotel y mirarlo y analizarlo. Más económico. Sí. Vete por eso. 500. No tienes amigos, no tienes nada. Ahora no. Mucho cuidado con las mujeres. Cuidado. Sí. Aquí las, las sardinas son. Tienes que ponerle mucho cuidado. Ah, sí. Las muchachas son muy jodidas. Jodidas en el sentido de que pueden embolatar a un muchacho por sacarle plata. Oh, no, sí. entonces tienes que ponerle mucho cuidado a eso. ¿Ya? Okay. Tómate el cafecito, ya te Gracias. Y te deja averiguar por allá. Ok, gracias. Adiós. Sí. Soy de Estados Unidos y soy busca oportunidades a enseñar. Y... Déjame pasar. tu número, yo le digo Juan Manuel, al, due al director. Okay. ¿Sí? Buenas, necesito grabar 1.7 por 2.600 serían 6.000. Ok. De Marshall Powell. Ah, okay. Perfecto. Eso va. Marshall. Ok. ¿Tú hablas español o solo inglés? ¿Tú hablas inglés? ¿Yo? Sí. Oh, yo hablo inglés, sí. ¿Tú hablas español muy bien? Oh, gracias. Armenia is very cheap because it's, it's a small city, you know. Sí. Yeah, one dollar is like. Uh, it's como tres mil. Tres mil pesos. Sí. Bastante. So don't worry about when. Well, all right. Uh, okay. All right. I see you. Yes, if you notice that I've worn the same shirt for the past three videos, I definitely needed to do some laundry. So I came and found a place here. Six thousand Colombian pesos for pretty much all my clothes except the one I'm wearing right now. So this looks bomb. Not quite as cheap as the stuff in downtown, in the central, in the central area here in Armenia, but this is like a steak, rice, mashed potatoes, and salad, and that soup, so I'm happy. Also, I wanted to say, like, I had put off checking my YouTube comments for a couple days just because I started to get some, like, nastier comments, and, uh, like, when I first started posting videos, I was checking my comments, like, every hour, just like, oh, someone commented, and I'd reply right back and everything. But once the comments, you know, of course, any channel that grows is going to get people that don't like it, and that's fine. But if I'm checking the comments all the time, then I'm just, like, subjecting myself to, you know, I'm, like, I'm letting how I feel be dictated by the comments that I'm getting every hour. And that's just not healthy. So I decided to wait two days to check my comments and then, like, check them all at once. And I posted that video yesterday or two days ago about leaving Cali. So I was, like, bracing myself, <laughs> like, all the bad comments I was about to get for the those videos but man I like finally sat down here and checked it and man I just gotta say like 
thank you so much for people who leave the comments and the positive feedback. That was so awesome reading those comments, you know, just saying like, do you and just keep doing making the videos and that's alright that you felt that way. Like, it's a pretty special thing. So, if you are active on the channel and leave comments, just know that I really, really appreciate it. I'm gonna get down on this and hopefully go meet some more people here in Armenia. I'm really liking it. I'm really liking it. There's a lot to see. It's a small town, but there's a lot of different things to see. So, here we go, Armenia. So I was just eating in that restaurant and I got a, I had left my name and number at that English school really close to here. Sorry for that noise. But the guy who runs the place just messaged me back and told me to come and check out the place. So we'll see how this goes. You're Marshall. Hey, yeah. Yeah, nice how you doing? You. Good. Yeah. Where are you from? What? Um, Where? Seattle. Seattle, Washington. Yeah, cool. Are you from the United States? Dallas, yeah. Okay, I was going to say, yeah. your English is like <laughs> native, native English. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dallas, Texas, yeah. Yeah, um, it's really fun here, and it's cool because our, our school is, is like all conversational, so it's not, perfect. you don't have to really teach, it's just, so really what people are, when they come to an institute like this, to pay is because they want to sit down with a native speaker, right. and they want to just practice. be able to practice, and, and maybe, but right now, the teachers that I have, they usually just bring something prepared. Our classes are an hour and a half each, 90 minutes. I pay, uh, well, the, people, the teachers I have now, I pay them all 10,000 for class. You know, okay. for every hour and a half, we pay them 10,000. Um, if we if you decide to stay on as permanent, then we'll sit down and talk about a, a contract, you know, right, right. Uh, to, to make, obviously, a little bit more money. All right, let's see, I could give you as much as work or as little as work as you want. So you're the one who can tell me, yeah, no, let's go all the way. I'll give you two classes from 8.30 to 11.30, which would be two classes. I give you two to five, and then you come, take a dinner break from five to 6.30, and then come back and do 6.30 to 8. That would be full time. Yeah. That would be 10, 20, 30, 40. That'd be 50,000 a day. Mm -hmm. A singer or a songwriter or something? Yeah, I am. <laughs> I saw, oh, the picture. Right? I saw the picture, yeah. I was going, wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Just tell me when you're interested in starting and we can get you started right away. Well, I mean, I would love to come check out a class if you are doing yeah, a class. Yeah, sit in and just kind of get a feel well, Are you for busy it? now or do you want to sit in on one? Yeah. Elizabeth. Yes. Okay, so we have another group tonight at 6.30 and we'll talk some more after you get out of class tonight. Okay, we'll Come cool. by and tonight and then... Uh, See, see what you think about it, and then we'll go from there. Awesome. And then uh, bring your album or your CD so we can hear it. So I just found this place by, I just walked by and saw a sign that said English and French, French language exchange, and I just walked in and that happened. Like, that, it was that easy, and I almost didn't even walk in. I just thought, like, the last time I asked, they wanted a little more credentials, but I'm really, really glad that I came in here. And that is how I just became an English teacher in Columbia. ¿Qué Trabajo. Trabajo. Así estudiando en inglés. Ay, qué bueno. Estaba necesitando profesores allá. Sí. Qué rico. ¿Y cuándo sí. empiezas? Esta noche voy a mirar a los clases y creo que empecé en lunes. Wow. Mira. Sí. Y ahí en esa cuadra donde estuviste, uh -huh. ahí enseguida hay un hotel. And I'm used to that opening, but you have to open and push out. It's pretty cool. Sí, pues eso. Sí, me gusta y he sido buscando para un artista como así. Ahora, era bueno que lo llevara el estuche, un estuche bueno. Estuche, estuche, estuche no sé. semiduro, semiduro. Ok. Por cierto, vivir con el estuche. Usted me deja el 30% y yo se lo guardo ahí bien. Y le doy dos meses, dos meses. Para retirarlo. No quiero hacer este. Si le doy 125. Si usted me trae 200, 200 mil pesos, para que lo lleve con un estuche, estuche. <risa> 200 para los dos. 200. No puedo. Bueno, mijo, en todo caso, estamos a la orden. Okay, gracias. That was close. That was like really, really close to what I... I mean, I, I'm going to go back and get that guitar. I know it. I'm just going to see if I can't uh, mark, get that down a little bit, even though it's a great price. But that was beautiful. Beautiful little guitar. 
soy abogado también, penalista. What's your name? What's My name is what? Ah, Eliana. What? Yes. What? How old are you? How old are you? How old? How old? How? 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 Wow, so that was a pretty awesome day overall. I gotta say, that's that's one of the best days I've had. Especially like coming off of like four or five days of just not really feeling too sure about what I was doing out here, going through Cali and coming here. But actually this hotel that you just saw in that clip there, it's really, really nice. I'm, I'm really loving it. It's about a 20 minute walk away from that school, so I'm gonna be looking around to either find a closer hotel or just go ahead and, and rent a, a room uh, near where the school is just because, I don't know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Great price here, 20 minute walk, but might as well, you know, look for something a little closer. But I'm so excited for this opportunity. Like, I was supposed to just sit in on that class there and basically that girl just invited, and, you know, I don't know, I just felt right to like jump in and we basically just tackled it half and half. She's like from Colombia, but also from the UK. So she has a uh, really th like thick English accent when she speaks English and it was just good, we just bouncing stuff off each other and both kind of figuring it out as we went. And have I ever taught English? No. Do I know what I'm doing? No, not really. But that is part of the challenge, that is part of the fun. I'm going to figure out how to be a good English teacher. If you have any tips, if you've ever taught a language, go ahead and leave them in the comment section or leave some links to something. But yeah, if you like this, <laughs> this story today of how I became an English teacher, please do uh, leave a like down below and leave a comment and any questions you have or anything like that and um, please do subscribe to the channel. We'll see where the videos go from here. A whole new window of opportunities has just opened so I'm very very excited for um, also where the, the channel is going to go from here. Also if you're curious about my past experience looking for work teaching English, I also tried in Medellin. You can check out this video here. I didn't have as much luck but I definitely talked to a lot of people and got some answers if you're curious about teaching English in, in Medellin. But alright guys, I am going to wrap it up here. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.